guys, let me introduce and announce the next speaker whom I'm going to invite on dais on stage. All right, doc ladies and gentlemen, let me have the privilege to announce and welcome Mr. Dr. Sharad Lande, sir. Dr. Sharad Lande earned his PhD in chemistry from ICT, which is UDCT, Mumbai, with honors mentored by Padma Shri Professor G.D. Yadav, awarded the Gujarat Ambuja Cement Best PhD thesis in 2005. He later pursued a two-year post-doctorate at the University of Ottawa, which is Canada. Since 2007, he has been with the Reliance R&D Center of Odra, currently holding the position of Assistant VP, which is Vice President R&D at the Corporate R&D Center, Mumbai. With over 20 years of research in heterogeneous catalysis, Dr. Lande's expertise spans hydrocarbon conversion, adossive tube purification, and nanomaterials for VOCs and CO2. He played a pivotal role in commercializing the eight technologies and the six pilot scale projects. Aligning with the Make in India initiatives, his academic achievements include 51 publications, 54 global patents, 15 granted, and over 100 internal technical reports for IL. So ladies and gentlemen, please put a round of applause for Shwarad Lani, sir. A very warm welcome, sir. Over to you, sir. Yeah, so good afternoon, everybody. And first of all, uh, hearty congratulation to all the people who are here and they achieved this award for their innovations and performance in various category from startup and leadership award. And today I'm going to speak a few words on the innovations. And Indian words, I think innovation means jugada. What everybody is doing in their business and profession, which is very, very important. Because you know, without innovation, we are not going to sustain in our business as individual, as our country. If you see how this innovation journey has started, long back ago, with the discovery of this penicillin G, which is a drug which was a fight against the bacteria. If that has not invented, so many people will die due to this disease. So you can see the power of these inventions. Then the journey has started after that ammonia fertilizer. When the beast who has discovered this ammonia, today we are seeing a lot of growth in the production of crop, which is the invention of ammonia. Again, if you see, next invention is the polyethylene. We may say now plastic, we have to recycle. But if you can sing a, thing, sing a single minute or day without plastic, it is very important, very difficult to survive. Because for packaging material, polyethylene is very important material. And that has been discovered in 1898. After that, discovery has started in this LCD, LED mobiles. So that invention also has made an impact on that. And finally, major invention has happened during the COVID. That is COVID vaccine, which has survived many people. So you can see the power of this innovation and invention. After that, there are several innovation has happened, which is making the impact on our society. So the innovation basically is a not a property of any education. It is not required in education. Whatever I am PhD, my profession is scientist. I'm working in Reliance Industries, who is doing a lot of innovation. But as I said that innovation can do anybody. Why it is important for our country? If you see, now our import, our import is almost 17% from China. And in terms of energy, like we are importing 87% of crude oil. So we are dependent on the outsider because our energy demand is going very fast towards the years. And in next 50 years, we can say it is a triple four times due to our population. So what we can even sustain under such an atmosphere to develop our own technology, our own innovations. And that definitely we are doing a well in terms of the innovations. Because if you see, in 2015, our innovation index, global innovation index by WIPO, it was 80 out of 130 countries. And today, in 2022, we have come to 40. You can see the delta which we are achieving. So there are various factors because it's involved in these innovations. And most important part is the culture and the government support. So government also is doing a lot of initiatives in terms of the science and technology promotions to various industries also. If you see in uh, during COVID in 2022, they have started one initiative, PLI, Production Incentive uh, Linkage for the, all the industries, small scale industries. Because what they want, they want to reduce this import. Once we reduce this import, we'll be sustained ourselves in long term. So that is one goal. Second goal is 
basically how you can make a culture of innovation that is very important our mindset so everybody should think i should do new thing in my business or as a profession as a leadership so that will helpful to sustain in my business so as a individual if you see how we can sustain this thing so there are various factors basically i am uh, i know that it is not easy to do the innovation but as a team is very important because in any professions as you are here today to achieve so many excellence in your profession due to your leadership that makes a impact on your profession so what i will say that i will not take much time because there are so many people here who are here to receive the awards and i will say only one thing always follow 3p in your life if you want to achieve something so first is passion for your work always passion for your work to do something then persistence don't lose your hope if you want to achieve some things and performance if you follow the three p's it definitely will lead a success in your life so for all of you just i want to give one message this is just beginning for you so dil mange more for you so let us continue this spirit of innovations and do well in your business and profession wish you all the best to all of you thank you so much